Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Well, not really a minute. It's been like two weeks. I need to calm down. Today, we're gonna be getting into this blowout of mine. This is pretty much my signature hair whenever I actually wash my hair. In previous videos, I've mentioned that I wash my hair two times a week top. So when I do, I like to give myself a really nice blowout that'll last me, I know, a few days. It's just pretty, it's bouncy, it lasts, and I feel like it's all really due to not only the techniques that I use, because I do have pretty curly hair to begin with, as you'll see in the beginning, but I would say between a combination of the products that I use and that I show you guys, and then the techniques that I use as far as the actual blowout itself goes, I've got it down to a science. I have got this hair down to a science. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Definitely let me know if you try out any of the products that I mentioned or even the techniques that you see me do. I feel like I really have that Revlon blow dryer down to a freaking science, or at least I think I do. And I feel like my hair shows it. I'm just gonna say. I'm just gonna say, I feel like my hair shows it. Thank you so much again for watching. And if you wanna see how I get my go-to blowout, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. So I start off with towel dried hair, obviously. And as we can see, my hair is pretty curly to begin with. So I really rely on the products that I use to give me the smooth blowout that I want at the end. So I start with my Ava NYC primer. I would say that that's my heat protectant. It smooths everything out. I then go in with my Garnier Fructis leave-in. This is the best. It just keeps my hair super hydrated, super soft. I also use the Wow Dream Coat I love this for humidity you don't have to use it every time you wash your hair only every other time i would say especially because she's a little pricey so we use her sparingly and then lastly i go in with my trader joe's coconut oil serum that is a goat product if you haven't tried it you must and then of course we brush everything through i use my wet brush just to make sure everything is nice and evenly dispersed throughout my hair Once I have all the product up and through my hair, I start out with my sectioning. And I always start with my front piece, pretty much my bangs. And I make sure that I start with this because I like this to set the longest once I go ahead and wrap it up in my little pin curl that you'll see. So I go ahead, brush that out, and start to blow dry with my handy dandy Revlon blow dryer brush. I adore this thing. I don't know what I would do without it. And I pretty much use the same technique all over my hair. So you'll see, I started by pulling down and I wrap my hair around the bristles to make sure that I'm really smoothing and blowing out the entire section and I pretty much tackle it from all angles so you saw I started going straight down now from the side wrapping my hair around the bristle and just really making sure I'm pulling all the way through so that way you're getting that smoothness from root to tip and I really just repeat this process on all of the sections, but specifically on this section, I make sure that I really like to give myself some volume. So I'll kind of pull up a little bit and then out because I do want that to have nice volume when I do let it go. Once I'm ready to do pretty much the last go through, I like to blow dry up. I'll let it set for a little bit. And then once I turn off the blow dryer, you'll see I spin as I'm releasing the hair. And that's just gonna give us a really pretty bounce, a nice little curl without having to actually curl your hair. Then I go in and I pin curl it just to let it set in that place. So that way, once all of my hair is blow dried, I can let all of my pin curls out and we can have the grand reveal of the blowout. For this back section specifically, I do like to give myself a nice rough dry when it comes to this. I don't like to go in when it's super, super wet. I like to make sure it's a little bit damp, but pretty much dry for the most part when I go in and section this. So you'll see I first go in and I really make sure that I'm focusing the brush at the root. When you have curly hair, or I know with my hair specifically, I really have to make sure that root is nice and smooth and straight or else the rest of the blowout doesn't even really matter because nothing is going to look right when you have super smooth ends and then not so smooth roots so i really like to make sure that i focus at the roots get that as dry as humanly possible and then i'll just work it through my ends as well that way once i go in and section it's even easier to blow dry at that point and once i feel like it's rough dried enough i'll go ahead section my hair and then you'll see i pretty much go in using that same technique that i did with my bangs so 
I'll start wrapping my hair around the bristles and then make sure that I'm pulling all the way through. And I do come from every which side. So we go underneath. You'll see at one point I go from the front and kind of wrap my hair around that way. I really do this just to make sure that my hair is smoothed from every direction. If you're just going in one direction, you're really only tackling that area of your hair, if that makes sense. So I like to make sure I go underneath, I'm wrapping my hair around, and as I'm doing it, I'm making sure to rotate the brush. That is what's gonna give you that bounce, that curl. And I've really only discovered this as my hair has gotten longer, as I've gotten older. I've loved to blow out my own hair because it really looks so beautiful, and this technique makes the difference. So the same thing, you're gonna go ahead and slowly twist as you release, and this is just gonna help to give you a really, really pretty curl, really pretty volume, and then I'll just go ahead and pin curl up this section just like I did the other. So I pretty much repeat the same process for the other section. I wanted to show you guys because I know at least personally I'm a visual learner so to kind of see the way that I wrap my hair around the bristles, the way that I'm saying I come from pretty much every which angle to blow dry my hair whether that's under or over, I just wanted to show you guys the technique that way you can kind of get the hang of it by watching. Again, I'm a visual learner so I just thought why not but I pretty much repeat the same exact process, go ahead and blow out your hair twist as you're releasing the hair and then you can go ahead and pin curl it up to set until you're done with the entire head. For the sections near my crown, I'll make sure that I blow dry a little bit more upwards just to make sure that it gives me more volume at this specific point of my hair. I like to make sure that I have more volume towards the back and then obviously a little bit smoother towards the front, but these back sections I do like to blow dry a little bit higher just to make sure that I have some volume when I release it. And even as I'm pin curling it, you'll see that I kind of give it a little bit more hold, a little bit of a higher curl just to make sure that it actually holds that volume. So at this point, we have all of our hair blow dried, everything has been set, we can go ahead and go in with some hairspray. And this is my favorite, I've used it for years, the Garnier Fructis Anti-Humidity. It's just so, so good. I use it when my hair is down, my hair is up, I just adore it and it's super affordable. Once that is on, I go ahead and let all of the pin curls down. And once we have everything out, we can kind of see where our hair is at, what we're working with. I'll go ahead and run my fingers through it, flip my head over and then just kind of evaluate where we're at. At this point, I end up always doing the same thing, which is I'll take my Revlon blow dryer again and just kind of smooth out certain areas that I feel like I want to just sit a little bit better. Maybe I want it to lay a certain way. So I'll just go ahead, smooth out anything that I feel needs it and go from there. And so just know at this point you can totally be done. The hair looks great, it's bouncy, she's thriving, but I do have OCD when it comes to my little baby hairs and just pieces that I feel like I did not get straight enough. So I will go in with the flat iron. This flat iron is incredible. I got it on Amazon years ago. I've been using it forever. This is probably my second one at this point and she's a little crusty so don't look too close at her but it is the best flat iron and I just go in on certain pieces that I just maybe feel like I couldn't get close enough to with the blow dryer just to make sure they are nice and smooth. And then for the front section specifically, my bangs, I'll go ahead and make sure that I flat iron these forward. Doing that, make sure that, yes, they do kind of end up in my face every now and again, but for the most part, they stay out of the way. This just makes sure they're nice and smooth, and that way when I flip my hair back, everything just sits exactly how I want it to. And then at this point, I'll just fluff my hair out a little bit more, hit it with a little bit more hairspray if I feel like I need to, but for the most part, we are good to go. You can run your fingers through it, make sure everything it's exactly how you like it to, but that is pretty much everything.
And that is my curly girl blowout routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you try any of the products or techniques out, please let me know. But thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.